So in this video, you're going to learn how you should be focusing on building up an email list as a priority and how actually the biggest asset that you're going to have as a business or personal brand. So you can see I have here an email list here and essentially this is a list of emails for existing or potential customers. So why is this so important? Why does this bother me? Well, my email list can notify them every time I send out a blog post that gets traffic to my website and any time that I have a market research survey for, you know, what, what to figure out what products to sell, I can email my email list and help and ask them what they want and that really helps me reduce the risk and create a positive product that people are actually going to buy. I can re-engage my existing customers, so here's another one that would really suit your needs as well. So it's it's not just me who's saying that building email list is so important. Say here Neil Patel says that email continually performs most of them not only does that have the highest conversion rate but if you build your list you can continually monetize by patching multiple products etc so it's a great example to just look at e-commerce site like amazon and one way continually get you buy more products from them is emailing you offers on a regular basis right so you bought this and why didn't you have a <coughs> look at this? So you should know for, for a blog, for an e-commerce site, for services kit, it doesn't matter what type your business is. It could be really, really good for sales and marketing. So I think it's, uh, it's one that, you know, it's a good news to know email marketing from here. So Noah Keegan, another really very well known marketer he says that after you wake up in the morning what's the first thing that you do first is to check your email so I do that too so I check emails uh, first thing in the morning so he has even figured business for 90% <coughs> of their revenue comes from email so I definitely read all my email subject lines and I don't open them and look at this a lot but more than I do personally social media because there's much content on the social media now that's maybe the final reason why we want to build an email list as essentially an insurance policy because on Facebook there are so much content being submitted that Facebook have filtered consent and they are going to show the most high engage, highly engaged content in someone's newsfeed. So we, even if you build up an audience on Facebook that you know you make a post, not ever because Facebook have filtered it in. There's just too much content. Okay. So uh, the experience of experiences are not only with emails, but when it comes to email, it's going to hit the inbox for everybody. All right. So you might want even get aware that you've created a post so in terms of visibility as well just the email trumps all other platforms and they have to filter and contact that content is just too much there so if you if your content is not getting a lot of engagement your followers are not going to see it so that's why email is valuable and extremely useful for face so to use you know Facebook and other platforms so just in case that they decide to change the rules they limit the filter the content even more you might even get kicked off from Facebook for breaching you know the policy terms and you can get kick off for Amazon breaching your terms of service it happens guys so if you don't want that to happen you have and you don't have backup plan well that's why even if you don't have a plan on sending lots of emails it's a great insurance policy you know you have to have an email list built that will fully control that you can use uh, on now to send out emails to a big list of email contacts and to get analytics on all those campaigns what you need to do is to set up an account with an email ser service provider so there are tons of options out there but I would recommend that you use MailChimp 
Why? Because it works in any type of site. They have been all uh, been around for ages now, and they also have free uh, service to use for 2,000 subscribers, which is always a great reason to use the product. Okay. So what you want to do is to type the Mailchimp in Google and go ahead and click through. All right, then sign up and use your personal account. So it's only be you using it where you can sign up for your company email as well okay so now once inside you watch you want to do is to come up and click the list and then you want to create a list so if you can just go ahead and create a list so by creating a list here it will enable you to send one email to everybody that's on your list so we need to fill out some all of the list details like the list name okay so they even help you walk through some of this here so they have a great service and it just uh, just put all the examples uh, to the main thing all right now here what we want to put in the, as a default frame address is the address that people res will respond to now this email needs to be an email that you have access because you need to verify this end guys. Kailangan ng verification. For just a second, but you know this is a, this is the best not to put in the domain specific email that you will have set up next. So select the default name and you just have to say so I'll just say an example of me now what, what I want to do is to put a short reminder about how they got so you are receiving this email because you opted in on our, web, on our website for example so it's just a requirement for anti-spam so down here as well so you're going to need to input some of the company's information you know like CRM and you you, you don't need to put in like the number, say the office, whatever, the address there, the city, etc. So again, this is just uh, anti-spam measure using Mailchimp. Okay, so your your messages won't go to their spam spam box. All right. So the next thing you can do is to put your country and then say the phone number. They want that as well. And then you can select if you want to get a notification by simply you know having subscribers or some subscribers criteria if you want to go ahead and click you can so that's excellent now one of the thing that you actually want to do right now before you import your contacts or anything else is actually verify your email address that's very important so I recommend that you go to you know to type there and verify your email MailChimp so we need to do that just show you how we own that domain that we popped in so just for verification purposes so uh, coming to the settings list and the name so let's see here so yes it's there so actually maybe it's easier way to do it so come into your list and you come to the settings list a name default that you're going to see and you are going to verify the domains from your host so that's what you can do ahead and click the verify domain here so just a pop an email address to get them to send verification email okay so you just need to go and get that to do just logging into your host like so bluehost domain guys for my bluehost scale so you can see the verification email from MailChimp so just you need to get into that and verify the domain access so I can actually just take this code right uh, then step back click and verify now my domain has been successfully verified so you can see that it's appearing in there okay so this is a great opportunity to start importing your contacts to into the email list if you want to and if you're ready to get some email address maybe from LinkedIn or maybe from Gmail or maybe from other sources you can import them through the CSV files in there and you could just upload those what you can do is just you know sometimes it's very handy for you to actually just copy the base email address then so this is going to just you know give you a tab that really just copy and paste into them so that's also will but no work all right so uh, once you've got that done 
then you're going to have an email that can you know send you can really send it directly to them okay so but be careful when you're uploading csv files so you might uh, get um, a better instruction in there so that will save you from messing it up you know importing is very important so once that you have got that done okay again that can really send an email directly to them so again the better the benefit of setting up this email is or MailChimp as an email marketing is that you can send them a bulk you can send email bulk to you know number and they were they're going to get caught that email and that spams uh, feel a little opposed to if you're sending bulk email from uh, in this video you're going to learn how to read email sign up form to the sidebar of your website and also how to add a pop-up form and how to do it for free okay so in this uh, video you really it will really help you going to build up your email list so create a list of potential people so the first step that you need to do is to log into your uh, Mail, uh, MailChimp account and click into the list and so what to create is to uh, we're going to create forms for you know once inside of that you can click the sign up forms and then okay, here that you're going to see a couple of different types of forms in there okay so here are the people you can change and take a look and feel about your sign up form okay so you can also show your uh, only the required fields or you can use the default and you can make some other adjustments too and make once you're ready you just need to copy and paste and go to the website sounds great right so what you need to do now is to paste this code into your website and when somebody signs up to your web uh, this information in their email address will send back to MailChimp and here are uh, they're, they're going to be added on your list okay so you can just control a control C copy of all of that now I'm going to show you um, how to do it and how to add it on my WordPress website so but essentially the process is going to be quite similar so if you need the step 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 by step guide for just a website builder well just look at the support guides guys okay so what you need to do is to come up and log into your uh, back end of WordPress WordPress website so I'll just need to do it now then for a WordPress website and come down to the appearance and widgets now the, the layout might be slightly different depending on the team that you have for your WordPress web. So there's are, there are essentially going to be the same and you want to really you know add widget to your side sidebar on your website. So oh, send a widget essentially just a little feature so that you can have some you know adding custom um, mail for example. So what do you want to copy the code? and paste it on your custom page and then we can go ahead and to do just to you know open the web sidebar because you want to see that this is actually working okay so uh, there you go and there were the three email sign in bar of the web now and I will say sometimes it takes a couple of minutes to for this to take off all right and then you may be needing to actually go ahead and delete some of your history okay catch your cookies guys all right now that you have got the emails and the form on your sidebar of your web so let me go back and look okay so another type of email that you can sign up do or do as a sign up form is that you can include so there we're going to go back to our list and then start processing that again and we're going to come to the sign up forms then we are we want to do is a subscriber pop-up so we want a pop-up on your that would probably you know get a lot of leads a 
Okay, so you can upload an image or so something similar to that. And again, you charge, if you change, again, uh, change will, uh, will appear on the website and it gives you a preview of that. So actually, it's, it's doing pretty, uh, it's going to be properly yeah, just, uh, just, so just an image here. Okay, so like, when does it pop up to show? So for for the purposes of the demonstration, I yeah, just go into immediately. Uh, do that, okay? So I can show you uh, working, but you can, but you can time this after a few seconds or 20 seconds, whatever you like. So there's a lot of cool things that you can change. Is the font, right? So I now want to view the code because, again. What I want to do is, so on our website is uh, to do that emails collected and added them to my MailChimp. Okay, so again, we need to put this on our website. Okay, and I'll show you how it's done my own way here. There we go. So what we want to come to is the, the theme option. Okay. So here that I can actually place hit work out. So the theme is great because it gives me a specific section. So I can just paste it in there and save the changes. And again, we want to come back to our website to sure to double check if it's working. We might need some wait for a couple of minutes. That sometimes happen. Okay. So sometimes it's easier. It's easier to come up into some page and may need to click around a bit okay and coming to the page blog post uh, yes i can see this popping up so immediately so i know that this is working okay so this will really hit people and add them to your list so you can go ahead and uh, sign up okay so uh, okay so let's signing up on the MailChimp okay, so if you have any problems with this or just anything so you can get it go ahead and check check out their support guides on the MailChimp and they have an excellent you know customer service too all right so a lot that so it's really best to have you know any problems to really check out the support guides if you do so support guides so for different types of sites um, etc so just a recap about this lecture you look in this video you're going to learn how to capture email addresses without needing a website so i'll show you a perfect example of this so here's a twitter page you can see and that they say in their the bio here that they are wor working with entrepreneurs to solve the world's hardest problem. So follow along through our weekly newsletters and then we can see a link actually here to a standalone page. So where we can see sign up to their email newsletter. Now you can see this is going to be their website. So it's just a paid so it's just reckon sign ups and their email list so this is extremely handy way to connect and collect email addresses even if you don't have a website so guys if you and in order for you to set up this sign up yourself so first you want to log in into your mail mailchimp account and then click into the list that you have so whatever there, select general forms of your choice. So you can see here is I have added the, the list name. So if you do that, you didn't. You need. You need to go back to the list and edit there. Okay. So let's say that I didn't need to collect their phone number, so I could just remove that. Okay. So now that I can do this, uh, to take this, what I can do is to take this link and paste it on the Twitter profile, Facebook profile something like that or really anywhere in content that I've created to encourage people to sign up on my email list okay so it's a very handy feature of MailChimp that it makes it incredibly easy to collect mail address even if you don't have a website set up so go ahead and check it out for yourself so once again if you want to come up with your own list this is very very helpful so I'll see you on your next video
In this video guys, we're going to learn how to create an email campaign with MailChimp so you can promote your blog posts to your email list so you can promote, you know, products and surveys, etc. So the process is all the same and it's really just simple to do guys. So what you want to do is to log into your MailChimp account. Okay, so go ahead and create campaign. And then you want to select to create email campaign and you want to do is to put in the campaign name and always recommend your campaign name to be the same as your subject line so you're going to be using for example email something like that so you want to do a uniform type of thing okay so what I had on my website here I click begin so I'm going to use the default will show and send in your entire list I'd recommend that you do this uh, the smallest you uh, a very big list so you can start to a segmented if you want to send Tony for example this email okay so certain segments of your audience will look at the most part probably by sending out the entire list and you can leave that selected and then click next okay now here is what we want to fill out a little bit more about campaign so I tried I said I can do if I want to maybe next thing I want to do some previous tags here and this snippet will appear in the inbox and subject line so what you might want to do is to you know you have quite a long subject that is probably won't even show in the inbox but if you've got a very short email and sit there the recline so add this in so again you want to think about this in the same way that the subject line okay so that's essentially what you want to do so I can just learn a really simple way, way to capture emails alright so again the kind of encouraging words is very important once you have an email form name so um, you can say you can put your name in there okay and this is the kind of personal email list so it leave as my name so it could be the company that's okay okay let me on now we want to put your from address as well okay and here you can see that there are numbers of tracking options so probably the most important thing that you want to enable in Google Analytics tracking is to walk you through the steps so you can set that up now but if you haven't had any um, what you can do is to go ahead and click save and, and access then you can you know say to your dashboard it's uh, in a new tab there so you can come up I can't do integrations now but then I can just connect it to Google Analytics there so the advantage of doing this is um, enabling the integration for the email campaign in that your Google Analytics reports in the campaign report so you're going to be able to see how many people are actually clicking your website and in this specific email and that's incredibly important to know so you can check maybe the next day okay how many people actually ended up on my site because of this email email so the re uh, that's really important okay so if you want to track that and you know what's going on so there are a ton of templates that you can select here so some of those fanatics fantastic professional looking ones can drop images in so you can sort all the stuff in here for example you can use either this or going to use a simple text but often as well I think I just need a little more casual seems a little bit more personal so what I want to do is to just maybe have the first line the subject line again okay and what I can do here is to uh, just uh, put a text as well and something like click below and learn how to set up and I've said to you know below how to set it up a free learning page something like that because I'm teaching courses online so MailChimp is where you can collect emails right and any websites okay now I just want to, to make sure that I put the link that's very important I can what I can do is just to actually paste the link in there I wanted to so I'll just say um, we'll really want to know now is okay so just make sure that actually put the link in there so insert the link okay and insert that there that you know that goes blue okay so we're all good so down here below we're actually 
uh, be the information that you know you need to put on your MailChimp okay so account in terms your physical address and it's required just anti-spam measures MailChimp has included it there so also you can see an options for people to subscribe where I think it's required definitely best practice so that's because you don't want to annoy people <coughs> right you don't want to make it easy you, you want to make easy for them instead to subscribe if they want and once they are done they can say quick save and close and what you can also do is to actually input these buttons okay so for example I could put button there and change the text here and say something I like to learn more about what I can also do is to just actually put in I can put in the link there as well so maybe that's just because it grabs people's attention right a little not a little bit more and save it and close that so I will just need to or just text again just remove that okay now what we want to do is to click save and close so we can click the next on so look look at that we can see it got green there so okay so now a very important thing that you want to know before you go ahead and send any emails is just to make sure that everything is okay all right so what I recommend you to do is to go ahead and send a test email send that to your personal account and really just to you know want to look at this email perspectively yeah so uh, what you get to do now is you want to log in so there email account okay and then you might have to wait a couple of minutes to get through okay so uh, I can see now there the test email yay so capture the emails to your website so ask yourself what I open is that a, you know a goodness subject that I should maybe you know change so I can see here a snippet text here as well so that's been cut off so it's more imp very important to start with a good email subject now you open an email because you're saying that you know, I know maybe not well maybe come back at work because you know, it's critical people to clicking through the website for for example so check the spelling guys make sure the information is accurate to so make it more importantly make sure the line is working the link okay so because the most important things there is the link so um, if uh, if there are anything that you feel you could improve on you can do it so so edit different sections that's okay if you want all right so when you're thinking about sending out an email if you want to you know think about okay for your audience if, if you have global audience you want to send at a time it really hits the maximum amount to people for example in Dublin Ireland everywhere in the world usually send emails about five o'clock in the afternoon all right <coughs> in United States they have their own usually it's 12 hours difference from the Philippines right so you don't want to send your emails when everybody's in bed etc okay so if if it's hard for you to manage time and your schedule is what you can do is go ahead and click send now and you can just click send that email just send an email and really how to create email campaign in MailChimp so it's really important that you want to drive web traffic website traffic from your email okay so that makes sales and it is simple process and it's really the same so whatever objective that objective that you have so the most important thing once again is that I recommend is to go ahead and test that email and make sure the link is working so I'll see you on your next video So in this video you're going to learn how to write better email subject lines and I want to show you a really cool trick about that. Okay guys, so think about it and nothing on. So because that's a critical part. So what you should do is to come to your own email account here and like I've done. So here's the folder. Okay, so 
for it's full of emails right so you see there undamming emails so you can see tons of emails here but there are certain emails here that have all that I have opened and these are the ones that you really want to focus on now if you have opened the emails well then obviously it's the subject line that gets open right so that part is very critical as so you can just take the subject lines or model them to use them to uh, for yourself if you're going to have a very good chance of those emails uh, get open so essentially you're looking for the, for uh, you know the working um, strategy then you just apply it yourself okay so there are a lot of easier than talking about thin things you need to do because <coughs> that is all proven so let's take an example for this uh, seven prediction trends for the second 2018 now I should open it well the number one it, number one it starts with the numbers and that's the great way to spark curiosity because I really want to know about whatever those seven things are okay so and there is also trend for tech in 2018 so if these are trends well maybe I can jump uh, on them maybe and combine the benefit uh, from them and just it sparks a lot of curiosity guys because I would like to maybe get ahead of these things because um, there are trends for 2018 right so this was sent in the 16th of January so it's quite timely it's well time and I want to open it okay so because I want to know those seven trends are so how could you use this email subject guys well, the email subject lines like this for yourself well you could do the seven prediction trends for digital marketing okay for your business or for your clients and there are 187 production trends for yoga whatever you know personal finance whatever your name is now you can take a subject line like that and just apply it for yourself okay so again starting with numbers is really a great thing for email subject line because it sparks curiosity guys remember that and I want to open the email in order to find out now this is absolutely critical email subject lines so look at all of these emails here that haven't opened now for these email centers okay so they they haven't gotten me to open any emails down here you know no chance of me clicking those uh, and even choose their their website or buying their products or whatsoever in this email subject lines because it's something um, this email line here yeah so this should you know span a lot of time thinking about so because if they don't open your email then everything you've done after that is just wasted so that's why coming in at coming in answer to your own emails what you have opened is just one of the best one of the best ways to see that you know what works and if you are working in a company you know to be uh, pretty cool to just whatever everybody is, is down okay so uh, do these uh, do these exercise guys so I want you to to open uh, to practice this because it's really really critical okay so um, so let's uh, let's have that um, goal okay so I know who this company is and I'm not sure who's that so as well as looking at the emails that I open here so you actually had a great experience and probably even more benefit to look at that emails that you haven't opened so why what did they do wrong guys of course what could they have done better in order for you to open those emails now let's uh, let's talk well 
let's talk about the why okay it, because it's the benefit they're missing the benefit guys so what benefit going uh, is going to be for me what's in it for me yeah, why do I have to to open those emails bakit ko bubuksan yung mga yan ano ang makukuha ko dyan that's the number one question of everybody okay so of course to do this you do have to increase your of course the reach for for example 100 percent on on linkedin to get a lot of you know emails in facebook and i want you to know how to do this as um as he opened the emails to find out okay so and uh, and actually in, in that email you know that <clears throat> that guy he also explained to do a YouTube video which okay so there you go so that's what important guys so check your emails do remember the subject lines it's very critical I'll see you on your next video So in the last page guys, uh, you won't have to create an email campaign, right? So now in this lecture, I'm going to complete the very important step to actually analyze the results, okay? The results of your campaign because that is the key opportunity for you to analyze the data that you learn for your success, okay? For your business or for your clients. Now, uh, failures, so, um, you can, so we can avoid failures, so you can really get better. Okay, so there are two places that we are going to look at <coughs> in the MailChimp. So we already see the percentage there, and then also in Google Analytics, if you come down to acquisition campaigns, all the campaigns, you can see it there. All the information, the free campaign, the email campaigns too. Okay, and remember, that this is coming through because we have added Google Analytics in our MailChimp, MailChimp, right? So that's why it was important to do that. So we can really see the number here, guys. Look at this. See the people who came on our website. So the number of people who eventually sign up. So let's go back to start with MailChimp. So here with a high level of uh, here, uh, in this campaign so we can click it through the report and see a lot of more details okay so now if you have a professional or pro MailChimp account so you can see a setup kind of revenue goals etc and that really we have revenue driven but I haven't done that so we'll just be looking at really some of the information here so we can get a sense of how good your open rate by using these benchmarks here okay you see that so it's the the industry average okay and uh, point uh, 0.8 percent open rate okay so I am well above that obviously that you know a much smaller list but I think that's that's not too bad okay so I think the uh, the key thing here that gets people open the emails is the subject line again. Okay, so that's very important. So at least they would know. Um, at least uh, I know that I have a benchmark going forward, and I can get sense of you know um, are <coughs> the subject lines getting better and more open them. So well, people are starting to trust. Okay, about the source of that email. So that's probably a little lower than I would link and so that's I have really have to think about now I can make more exciting for things for them and actually you know let them click at that bottom so uh, can I can I make it something that you know they like have no click now if they want to take advantage of whatever offer that might have been thinking about you know about having to get more people so now looking at cross and see that there was one on subscribe there you go see that the one person when they got the email decided and they decided to unsubscribe from the list starts that's also possible so only one person out of 71 not bad at all so happy enough for that now if you want further explanations of these metrics you can see yeah, there the little icon here you can click this around and you can also see 24 hours performance okay so not quite being 24 hours 
So it's been 12 hours, so since so I sent an email, and I would expect the numbers to, you know, to, to enlarge. And you know, the minute it goes, they came back to it later, but interesting to see that about an hour after I sent an email, so there was a spike there. Okay, so that happens. So there may be some great information here in this report alone that really can help you improve your campaign. Okay, for the best subject lines, getting people to click that call to action, the CDA guys. So when that time, you know, you send it out, etc. So you can do more and more campaigns. So you want to keep them going back to this learning from the data. You can analyze this. You know, this will really uh, give you the information and the signal that you are doing the right thing okay so there are companies that you can see here that there was few users came on that site so as a result of mail campaign spending an average time three minutes four to three seconds on the site so makikita nyo rin kung ilan ilang minutes sila nagstay sa website okay and then actually two people here ending up signing up for so many next sign up there's a member on your website so there are those details you can see and way back to the full list of email subscribers it's really small percentage but that's not too bad that's a good start already guys so essentially what kind of baseline we're working on here right now and remember that there are a lot of steps in the process that get people to that point so if you can tweak all those steps and process then you're going to get better result as well okay so again digital marketing is a process right remember so in, in here in, uh, in this email you know, as a as a source if you compare our other sources when driving traffic or whatever you know compare with different platforms with social media so it's a great baseline to compare them here so you can compare your email um, marketing strategy with the social media strategy remember that email is your very good asset and a very good backup so this is a very important thing for understanding getting to know better about your business or even for your clients okay so there you go I'll see you on your next video